sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. So over the weekend, we saw mostly clear skies, but we saw showers off towards the west associated with this upper level low. And over the past couple of days, we've seen slowly creeping towards the east. Now we're starting to see those showers getting into the western parts of the Concho Valley. It's going to be bringing us some of the instability as we go into the week ahead. It's going to be bringing us some of those rain chances. Right now, mostly clear skies for much of the Concho Valley. We are watching one shower storm out towards the west of Crockett County. That's just kind of keeping an eye on that one. But overall, we'll be expecting mostly dry conditions as we go through the overnight hours. We did see some showers going earlier today. This is looking off towards the north, past just toward the north of our Cactus Cam. And again, right as that shower moved out, we quickly saw blue skies kind of return to the area. It's again, pretty nice day going into the afternoon, rather. And temperatures are also a little bit on the cooler side as well. We're starting to bounce back now that we've cleared out those clouds. 88 degrees right now in San Angelo with those easterly winds at about four miles per hour. Still a little bit cooler off towards our eastern or western counties, rather. 83 in Big Lake, 86 in Mertzen. We're still still in the lower 90s towards the east in Brady and Menard. So again, a little bit warmer towards the east because we just haven't seen as much cloud coverage. Tonight, temperatures will be dipping into the lower 60s. 63 still a 10% chance for an isolated rain shower, mostly for our western counties. And then tomorrow, we'll start to see a lot more rain chances for the area. 60% chance well, temperatures will be getting into the upper 80s and lower 90s. And then we'll be watching for some of those storms, possibly even getting strong to severe at times. So we kind of take a look at our future cast. We see the instability from that upper level low move in that starts to merge with this moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. Right along this boundary, it's going to cut through the Concho Valley. It's going to increase those the severe chances, mostly with those gusty winds for us as it pushes through. Then Wednesday, we're going to get a little bit of a break from the rain, but by Thursday and Friday, we start to see a frontal system move in from the northwest. That's going to become widespread rain for much of not only the Concho Valley, but the state of Texas as well, and that's going to continue for Friday. I know a lot of people are looking forward to Friday night football, but they could be seeing some rainy conditions out there if you're heading out to the game. So again, the severe weather threat, mostly going to be looking for those high winds as well as some large hail that encompasses the entire Concho Valley going into Tuesday, especially for the afternoon and evening hours. We'll start to see those showers and storms develop during the afternoon. And by late evening, we'll start to see kind of a band of them just quickly pushing through once that front rather pushes through, we'll start to see those clearing skies back behind it. Otherwise, we'll start to see those rain chances increasing going into Thursday as well as into Friday as well. So again, your next seven days, the severe chance going to be pretty good for us on Tuesday, stormy conditions, and we'll get some more rain chances for us on Thursday and Friday, a little bit more widespread. We'll start to dry things out as we go into the weekend. But again, with that severe threat, make sure you have a way to get those weather forecasts. You can go to ConchoValleyHomepage.com.